Um, obviously, it's just the environment that you play in is you know one of a kind, and whether you're playing here or North Carolina the day of the game, after the game, just um, you know it's a big deal around here, and not only around here but everywhere. So that's what's exciting about it. Obviously, um, it still only gets you you know one win, but obviously it's a it's a big one. Is this game win a little bit of luster from past years, considering what they're going through over there right now? Not at all. No, not at all. It's not. It doesn't make the game more or less important for us. Obviously, um, you know, going despite what they're ranked or if they are ranked, they're a really talented team, and obviously it's a big game. You know. With anybody that we play, but you know, especially with them, and it's a, it's obviously going to be a really tough game, and it's a big game for us. I know you say it's only one game, but you were clearly emotional last year here after losing that game. You really, really wanted to beat these guys in, in Cameron. How, how much have you thought about that, John, last year about trying to get back and get, and get these guys? Well, it's obviously um, it's on your mind. You think about it. you, you want to beat whoever. You know, has beat you before, and uh, you know, with with these guys, they beat us last year, so you want to beat them. And uh, obviously, you know, we want to beat them again. You know, we want to beat them really bad Wednesday. Um, you know, for a lot of reasons, but that's something uh, we know we have to come out there and be ready to play. It's, it's kind of odd in the last few years in the series that actually the road teams have a better record than the home team. You you're one win against Carolina was in Chapel Hill, right? Mm-hmm. Any reason why? I don't know. Um, I think both both teams are comfortable at the other place. You know, I, I don't feel it's a big. It's not like you're really traveling a long distance. You're it's a short drive. Um, you're going over as a team, and um, I think you know with the mentality you're going on the road. Obviously, it's a hostile environment, but you feel. Um, Knowing how hostile it's going going to be, it brings you closer together. You know if that makes sense. Can you talk about the luxury it's been uh, the, the last few years? You really haven't had a, a whole lot of lot of big guys who could really bang with them. Can you talk about the the luxury it is now to have uh, you know four guys uh, that they need to buy that can really go in there and, and uh, you know bang with them? Yeah, well that's been a big difference for our team. You know this year um, overall, but you know especially when we play them, they're. Obviously, they have a lot of you know really good big guys. So to have you know the bodies that can um, you know bang inside and rebound it takes a lot of pressure off you know us guards and also um, it's you know it adds to our team. You know um, having a presence inside to score, rebounding, all those things have just uh, made a big impact on our team. I mean, this is it. I mean, this is it for me. I'm taking care of my body every day. Um, I feel great. You know, it's um, during games. I feel great. It's they're really. I can't remember, I can't remember the last time I felt tired in the game. You know, in terms of being winded, where I've needed to come out. I feel I'm in really good shape. So in terms of minutes, you know, just I know, even though I might be playing a lot of minutes. I owe it to a team to give it everything I have for all those minutes. If it got to a point where I was pacing myself or wasn't playing defense like I felt like I could, then then I would say, you know, there's something wrong with this, but that's not the case. Specifically, what are, what are some of the things you do, you know, away from practice, away from here to take care of yourself? I sleep, you know, I, I you know, lay around, don't really go out much, and uh, it's really exciting. <laughs> And that's that's about it. <laughs> Besides their big guys, what else about Carolina concerns you? Um, well, they're really talented, you know. Overall, I mean, the one thing they're they're a young team, but they have a lot of talent. So, um, if you give a team with a lot of talent confidence, and um, you know, give them some things early, obviously, you don't want to do that. So that's the one thing. Playing in a home arena with obviously it's going to be a great crowd and. A um, lot of emotions, so you know they're going to come out um, really ready. So you want to match that, and uh, you know make sure you don't give them extra confidence early. What did you do to your back? Um, you know, I just felt it a little bit um, this week, but it's not a big deal. It's just always been a thing for me. Just keep an eye on.
UNC struggled to, I guess, defend high scoring guards all season long. Are you guys liking your chops at all? Did you get a chance at them? No, I mean, you know, every game we go into it looking how, to, how we can attack and, you know, what's there. And we really haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't been able to watch a lot of their games. So, um, you know, we're still going over scouting and what we can do to attack them. But obviously that's something us on the perimeter we always talk about and look at um, how we're going to attack the other team. Uh, let me slide it on.